was over. Today I'm eating a century egg. The tin noodles was a fried egg and uh, broad beans. Broad beans looks like this. Looks like a sensu bean. You watch Dragon Ball. I have uh, so pickled radish. Pickled radish can be also very delicious. So before we eat, we're gonna mix. Pickled radish is very spicy. This is a fermented, fermented egg, duck egg. Don't be afraid, it's just an egg. Nothing strange, but we gonna try. We gonna eat the duck egg. You see, I cut it in four pieces. Very delicious. This moment of a month's holiday. It's very delicious, crunchy, little spicy.
the sound of the pickled radish. If you ask me, the difference between a normal egg, it's um, more heavier in flavor, it's more creamier. The part of the century egg, it's like jelly. It's a good weather today. My dogs played outside, that's why they are very tired. because of the crunchiness you just don't want just want more because yum 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 I like also the spice if you serve it with rice it's also be a good combination
a lot of pickles vegetables you see I like from this brand look very good I like pickled cucumbers I like uh, pickled lettuce totally my thing I like kimchi for some recipes or for the century and my most recipes they let the century egg swim in the sauce or they let the century egg swim in the porridge it's actually a good idea when you can stand the flavor of the century egg but you I think uh, my opinion is to eat the century egg like this Just for ace my purpose, blade leg king. See you next time.